Morning Prayer for Sunday the 8th of November O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Ruler and Judge of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, May the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night. While all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul. How I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God with the voice of praise and thanksgiving, among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, My refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. Keep me as the apple of your eye. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, Keep me as the apple of your eye. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways, they shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. 
I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. And as you have bound us to yourself in love, leave us not who call upon your name, but grant us your salvation, made known in the cross of Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus is the Lord who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. A reading from the first letter to Timothy. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions and thanksgivings should be made for everyone, for kings and all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God our Saviour, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and humankind, Christ Jesus, himself human, who gave himself a ransom for all. This was attested at the right time. For this I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. I will sing for ever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing for ever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing for ever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, 
the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Let us pray. As intercessions are offered, I will pause after each bidding. If you wish to add your own prayers, press the pause button and then play again when you're ready to continue. We pray for the day and its tasks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and its needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church and her life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the saints on earth that they may, li may live as citizens of heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all people that they may hear and believe the word of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who fear the winter months. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all sovereigns and political leaders that they may imitate the righteous rule of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for all who grieve or wait with the dying. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority, and bring the families of the nations, divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin, to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, Bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 